Man's best friend can be an enemy's worst fear as we follow canine cops from Lackland Air Force Base to Italian missions and drug-busting patrols down on the Mexican border. It's gonna get busy. There's only one place the military trained these special cops, and that's in Texas, at Lackland Air Force Base. Lackland isn't just home to the largest canine academy in the world. It has its very own team of canine cops. Between them, they have 93 years of canine experience and are one of the military's top cop teams. Their job is to guard the base, detect for drugs and explosives, and deter any trouble. They support U.S. customs, military bases abroad, and local Secret Service missions. Lackland's team was handpicked from the canine training squadron by the kennel master, Tech Sergeant Charles Nanez. I've had handlers, you know, that are like, yeah, I want to be canine because I've always wanted to do my whole career, you know. I want to, you know, do that bigger and better thing. I want to, you know, go out and find those bombs, find those drugs, and I want to go out and chase those bad guys. Those things you like to hear from people because that's, I mean, they're motivated when they come out here and do the training with the dog. I like that, and that's why I want to hear from a handler. Go! Decoy, run! Handler! They'll need this drive because it isn't easy being a canine cop. It's demanding work with lots of training, and the dogs get constant TLC. You know, they get shots, they get physicals, they get, you know, vitamins, medicines, they get taken care of better than we do sometimes. And it's not just about care either. Training is ongoing, and each canine team is constantly checked by Nanez to make sure they're 100% good to go. Nothing escapes his eyes. Good boy, stay. And tomorrow is no different. While other canines guard the base, one of Lackland's top dog duos, Staff Sergeant Michael Mellon and his dog, Duco, will be under Nanez's scrutiny. 